Hey guys, it's Rhonda here. And this morning I'm going to show you how you can create a pop out image like this one here, where we have most of the image inside of a circle, but part of it is popping out. So it looks a little bit three dimensional. So I did this one using my own avatar so I could use it for branding purposes and things like that. Um, you can do the same thing. It's great for branding, but I also wanted to show you how you could do it for customers or clients that may want some custom work done. So I'm going to come over here to a new window. And I have this image here of this kid playing football. And this is a good one to use because you can make a t-shirt graphic out of it. You can make all kinds of different personalized designs with it. So we're going to do the pop out with this football player. And the first thing that we need to do is come over here on the left to our shape tool, click on that and decide what shape we want to use. Now, for this video, I think I'm just going to use the simple ellipse. We're just going to do a circle like we did on the other. But if you wanted to do something different, you could use all kinds of shapes. OK, so I'm going to select the ellipse tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hold down my shift key while I drag out my circle. That way I have a perfect circle. Once that's drawn out, I'm going to grab my select tool again, and then I'm going to come over here on my layers panel and I'm going to turn that visibility off for that circle so I can move it around and see what is inside my circle and where it is positioned. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right about there, maybe down a little lower. Right about there. So most of his body is going to be inside the circle and then most of his head will be popping out of it above it. OK, so once you have your circle positioned where you want it, then we are just going to actually let me think about this a little more. Yeah. Yep. That's how I'm going to do it. Um, once you have that done, you can come over here and turn your layer back on. And to get this image inside the circle, you just select your original image, drag it up and drop it on top of the circle. And you see everything is inside there now. It's become like a child layer of the circle. But now we need to get his head. So what we're going to do is select that original image. And I am going to hit control J on my keyboard. If you have a Mac, it would be command J. And I'm going to drag that layer above the circle. So now we have the circle with our original image inside of it and then another copy of the original image on top. And what we have to do now is select our helmet so we can have that outside. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to come over here to the left again to the selection tool and I'm going to grab selection brush. OK, and then I am just going to come along here and select the helmet. Most of the helmet there, OK, and it may not be perfect. So what I'm going to do is click on refine. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to put this back down to 50 where it typically is. And then I am just going to go around the edges here to clean up and make sure that the edges look nice. All right. And once I do that, I'm going to hit apply. And now we will make sure this layer is still selected and come over here and click on mask layer. And now we have our football players head is outside of the circle. I'm going to hit control D to deselect my the head area and now we have this all together oops let's move it back up there just like that okay and that looks great so now if you want to get a little fancier you can select this circle and put an outline on it so we'll select the circle click on effects select outline and increase the radius
and make it whatever color you want. If there's a team color, you know, we can do red. This looks more like a silver or a navy blue. So let's select blue, come in here and make it pretty dark. Or we can take the eyedropper tool. Yes, we can take the eyedropper tool somehow. I'm just terrible with this. Anyway, you can take the eyedropper tool as well and make a border on there. Okay. And you can see the way it is right now. Let me, uh, you can kind of see some edges in here. So a way to change that would be to change the alignment here. Right now it's set to outside. You could set it to center and that will move the uh, border and you'll get rid of that like harsh edge. So you can do that. You can do a gradient in the circle if you want and change the direction of it. So if you wanted to do team colors in this, you could do it that way, which would be, you can change it here, pink, and then change this one to blue maybe, you know, who knows? It's whatever you want to do, but you can do a lot of different things with this. We are going to leave this a solid color. You can also do a contour like that, which is pretty cool too. So I'm going to leave this just the way it is. And now your pop out is finished. You can export this now as a PNG and use it in different ways. You can, like I said, you can create custom ones of these for customers. You can use your own avatar, your own image for branding purposes and things like that. But it's really quick and easy to do. In fact, let's do one more. And let me grab that. And then let me grab the image I want to bring in. And I'm just going to use another one of my 3D avatars. So let me find it. Let me drag this in. There we go. Let's make it a little smaller. It's a little too big. Okay. Alrighty. So again, we're going to start with the shape tool and we are going to the, you know what we can do. Let's do the diamond tool. Why not? And Let's select it there. This will be different. Let's try it. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good where it is. I'm going to drag this up, drop it in there. And again, we will control D or control J, I'm sorry, to create a copy of it. And now let's look at this part again. Let's see what I need to. Okay. So just the head. All right. Okay. Alrighty, so again, now we're going to grab the selection brush tool and I am going to select the head here. I think, oops, I believe this should be enough right here. Okay, we're going to hit refine and we're just going to go along the edges. Clean them up. Alrighty, and apply. And let's hit mask layer. And there we go. Control D now to deselect. And we did this now with a diamond shape instead of the circle. And again, I'm going to hit the effects panel and I'm going to do outline. And I'm going to make the outline on the diamond and I think I am going to make this almost like a terracotta color just like that maybe make it a little bigger I'm going to do center and that looks pretty darn good and now you could put like a signature or something on here as well if you wanted to but there you go so that's how easy these are and they really draw attention and they're really cute, uh, especially, like I said, for branding purposes or for custom designs that you might want to make for people. So I hope you guys found this helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please take a minute to subscribe and to like this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.